Hey leaders, Kerry Newhoff here. And in this video, I wanna to talk to you about the future of in-person church attendance. So one of the big challenges that church leaders are going through right now, it's like, Kerry, I know everybody's talking about digital, you're talking about digital, but you know what I really want? I want real person relationships. I want real in life relationships. Isn't that what the church is all about? So yeah, totally it's what the church is about, but digital is gonna play a role in the future. So how do you actually figure that out? And that's why I wanna to talk to you about the fact that in-person church attendance is here to stay, but it is gonna change. And here are five ways it's gonna change in the future. So first of all, think about how we have defined in-person attendance historically, like not just for the last few decades, but, but for centuries. We've said in-person attendance means gathering in a central facility together at set times, okay? The church building, in other words. Well, in the future, in-person doesn't necessarily mean in your facility, right? What's been happening since COVID started? People are gathering in their homes where they can by law, but I wonder if in the future, there'll be more of a distributed church. In the same way that work has pivoted home, what if church pivots home? And what if, what if instead of having just one location, two locations, three locations, you have dozens or hundreds or thousands of locations, and basically the church becomes distributed. And so people are gathering, they're definitely gathering, they're building relationships, but they're building relationships in homes. I think that to some extent is inevitable. And if you look at what's happened as America has become more post-Christian and more Christians kind of drift away from church, that's sort of been happening already, but not in an organized way. What if you decided that you were gonna not only do what's happening in the room, but you were going to facilitate in-person church attendance in people's homes, that you might have a microsite pastor. You would have people in the same way you have a small groups coordinator, you could actually put that together. So that's trend number one, one way it's changing, is that perhaps in-person gathering does not necessarily mean in-facility gathering. It could be in people's homes, in the community, and elsewhere. So that is still face-to-face, relationship-to-relational uh, relationship gathering, but it's just different and it also scales in a way that building more square footage just doesn't scale. Secondly, in-person attendance will become a percentage of your real church. So we've kind of known that for years. Like if you have a church of 100 in attendance on Sunday morning, there's probably two or 300 who are affiliated with your church. They're just not in the room all the time. I think that'll be accelerated in the future. And it will be compounded by the reality that you have 100 people in the room, 1,000 people in the room, whatever, but more people are actually accessing it through the lens of a camera, whether that's in their homes or individually. And you can compete with that or you can cooperate with that. But if you expand your definition of gathering, it's much easier to genuinely expand your mission. So that's the second way things are changing. Third way, you'll use the building to reach people online not use online to get people in the building. So let me explain that, okay? For years now, here's how pastors have been using church online and how we're still using it. It's like, hey, come and join us Sunday morning at nine o'clock, Sunday morning at 10.30, be there, be there, be there, be there. That's your online ministry. And so what, what are we doing? Well, we're using the uh, online to get people in the building. In the future, it'll be reversed, that people will use the building, like you need a place to, to shoot this video, to reach people online. So will you have people actually in church? Of course you'll have people in church, but you'll be using the building and that gathering, not only to communicate to the people in the room, but to reach people online. So that'll be a flip. I think it'll be interesting to see. Number four, in-person church attendance will probably become more infrequent church attendance. So we've seen for years now that the frequency of church attendance, even among uh, committed Christians, is dropping. It's not going up. Well, what's to be made of that? Sometimes that's a sign of decreasing devotion. It's also just a sign of the complexity of modern life. I don't think that trend is gonna be reversed. So what you can do is you can realize, okay, how do we cooperate with that? And that leads me to the fifth change in in-person attendance, which is digital church will become more of a front door and a side door than a back door. One of the reasons I'm convinced, and I've heard this from countless pastors, that so many pastors are afraid of, um, digital church is they're like, well, if you watch me online, you're never coming back in the room. Well, secondly, you know, you got to redefine success around that. Think about that, 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 that's something you need to, to think about more deeply. But you know, all those people who are kind of using digital church to escape through the back door, guess what? They're gone. That ship has sailed. All right. Even if your church just got a digital presence, 
Digital Church has been here for about 15 years. And the people who wanted to leave, they're already gone. Which means in the future, and if they hadn't left before COVID, they're gone now. In the future then, online church will be more of a front door introducing everybody who doesn't know Jesus to your church or to other churches, like it'll be a front door, your new front door, or it'll be a side door. What do I mean for a side door? It's like, I'm going to slip out, but I'm going to be right back. Yeah, we love this series. We were here. We're going to be away next weekend. But now, because of what you're doing online, we're going to engage. Like, we'll be there. We'll be there at small group. We're going to watch from the mountains or the lake or whatever, and then we'll be back the following week. So think of digital church moving forward, not as a back door but as a front door and a side door. And then you'll begin to realize in combination with what happens in the room, there are great possibilities around that. So I hope this can help you. I would love for you, first of all, to tell me what you think and what you see. Secondly, tag somebody who who you think would be interested in this video or would love it. And if you want to discuss it with your team, make sure you hit the old save thing on Instagram, save it, and then you can discuss it with your team. So tell me what you think. I'd love to hear from you in the comments.